Hello guys and welcome to another video. So this is going to be a little bit shorter than usual but I am going to test 2020.32.5. So I got the update earlier this week. I tested it out a couple of times already to make sure that the behavior is consistent. And I have to say it is only a minor update. I've read on Twitter from someone that actually got more improvements uh, but he was driving with Hardware 3. I'm still on Hardware 2.0 for now. So I um, have to make do with that for testing. So let's dive into the differences with the previous update. Now we are coming up on the point where in the previous update it actually slowed down so here where you see the sign the car was slowing down and it's not doing that anymore so that problem has been fixed in this particular update right the infamous s curve will tesla have fixed the issue where it doesn't slow down before the turn and it doesn't make the turn because of the regulations and the steering angle oh yeah yeah oh it was not braking for that car not at all wow it did not see that car it did not hit the brakes and it was going over the line but uh yeah let's do that the second time Okay, second attempt. Hopefully no cars coming from the other side. So I can really let it do its thing. Here we go. It does not slow down. It does not slow down. And oh, yeah, it does go over the line again. A little bit less than what it used to do in the previous update. But still, that might have had something to do with the oncoming car. Here again, it's going over the line. Come on, Tesla. This is something that was going rather well. Well, now it breaks for this car, so that's good. Why it didn't break for, uh, for the car in front of me while I was driving through the curb, that, uh, that's another thing. Uh, that was dangerous. But yeah. Um, this is something that really needs to be fixed again. Now let's see how it will react on the exit. Last time it was going straight on and even on an empty exit um, it was just going straight on and then just turning at the very 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 last moment. Let's see what it's doing now. That's more fluent I get the impression it sticks to the left yeah again it's going straight on Whoa! and then only turning at the very last moment that used to be better in previous updates now let's see if it takes the second exit here again there's a car behind me but let's see if it does anything it's not taking the exit Nope, it's not. No, nope. high curvature detected and it refuses to take the exit. So let's see how it reacts here with the lane markings disappearing altogether. Will it stick to the right side as it used to? Yep, for now it is. Oh, nope, it's going to the center. It's going to the right, it's going to the center. Come on, come on, come on. What are you going to do? Still in the center, and now it's going to the right. It's a little bit better, a little bit less jerky. So as you can see, only minor improvements, and they are really, really minor. Um, the most important one, the slowing down before the S-curve, that is still not fixed. Um, I did get about five gigabytes of download for the new navigation. I did not get the progress bar for the new navigation 
um, I did not get a new version number for the navigation so somehow the update is stuck I think um, so I'm going to call Tesla Monday morning to see what's going on and if they can get it unstuck um, but other than that yeah slight improvement where the lane markings disappear altogether the final test so that is definitely going in the right direction again but it should still keep to the right side of the road there so there you have it that's all that has changed and uh, i'm really looking forward to update 2020.36 i might require another car to test that because it will only work on hardware 3 but we will get speed sign recognition in europe so i got a couple of tests already lined up uh, a couple of uh, outliers also that i want to test to see how good it really is and then uh, yeah i'm really curious to see how well it actually works so stay tuned for that and as always if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe using that button down below there so you don't miss out on any new videos and make sure you click that little bell icon and for now thanks for watching see you guys in the next one bye bye